Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, um, I know I've been gone for like a long time, but I've been really busy. Um, but first things first, since I know you notice it, I have dyed my hair again. <laughs> it is uh, very close to being full platinum blonde. Um, it pretty much is full platinum, more or less. There's still some brassiness in my hair. But the purple shampoo that I have will fix that um, you know, with no problem. Um, so, I'm also, and I will be doing a review of this in about a month, month and a half, maybe even two months, just depending. Um, because in on the 14th, I will be buying hair extensions. I'm super excited. I'll be getting them through a company that I uh, I looked up and researched online called Thala Hair Extensions. Um, I have no experience with them, but I've I've looked up tons of reviews, research, research, research. So I'm really excited. I will be getting tape in hair extensions, and I will be getting 26 inches in platinum. It's called Ice Queen Platinum Blonde. So I'm getting that done, and I'm adding that into my hair. Which, I mean, is another reason why I really wanted to go platinum blonde in my natural hair so that way I can get extensions. And that way my hair will be super long. I just, I guess, I, I just redone my hair today uh, because um, I got it done two weeks ago where we, um, we did a kind of a lot to it. Oh, uh, yeah, we did quite a bit uh, two weeks ago. Because we dyed my dark roots. We dyed my dark roots. Um, we um, deep conditioned my hair. We did some type of Malibu treatment. Um, it just it made my hair feel so silky. It just like it was so it was just silk. Um, we um, we toned my hair, and. Um, I went back in this morning because uh, my appointment was at 11 and I was literally there from 11 a.m. until about 5.30 p.m. just because that's how long it took to do everything what I did. Uh, what we did, we went back through and we applied um, more bleach on the orange that was still in my roots. Uh, we got rid of all that and then we went back and then we, we, and then we got the ends. And then we washed it with, with purple shampoo, a, a, um, a lighter version, so it does, it's, an, it's a non-drying purple shampoo. Um, and after, the, after we did that, we toned, we toned my hair for about 30 minutes under the dryer, which lightened me a lot. And then we used a, a really, really strong purple shampoo. It re works really well. I do not remember the brand name. It is something I do want to get. I do have purple shampoo, and in a week when I do take a shower, because I just showered last night, and I only shower once a week because it's it's better for my hair. So um, I'll wait. I'll in a week. In a week, we'll see how well the purple shampoo that I do have actually works. Considering how light now, my purple shampoo didn't really tend to work, and I really think it's just because it, my hair wasn't light enough for it to actually work noticeably. If it did, if I mean, before when I used it, it did work, but I only really noticed it lifting it a, like a little bit, but not a whole lot. But considering how light my hair is now, um, my there are st I st there is still some brassy parts, not really so much in my roots. Like at the top of my roots are like really white. Um, now in the past two weeks since getting my hair dyed, my dark roots started coming in, so we did touch those up. And we got rid of them. And honestly, when I get my hair, when, when I do get my, when my hair extensions come in and I go to my hair, my hairstylist, she's probably going to end up having to retouch my roots again before putting them in because, in, you know, um, because I get paid on the, on the 14th and I'll be ordering my hair extensions on the 14th. Um, I will be end up paying $28 for shipping and handling so I can get it to me within two to three days, which is the fastest they can get it to me. Um, my hair extensions are $330. I did I did use a coupon code that I found that took about almost $8 off, 
So it pretty much covered the price of the loop brush I am also going to be ordering with it. So my my total order is three hundred and thirty dollars, but it's going to be close. It's going to be it's it's going to be pretty much three hundred and sixty after uh, shipping and handling. So I'm going to be spending three uh, almost almost three hundred and sixty dollars on my hair extensions and the loop brush. Now it is a now the loop brush is a very special brush and I'll be doing I'll be doing a video about when I receive my hair extensions so I can show them to you guys and I can show you the loop brush. I'll do like an unboxing or something like that. Um the loop brush is a it's a brush especially made for extensions because it doesn't pull as hard as um like a normal brush would. So um yeah, I'm really excited about that. I am I am thinking um when I do get my hair extensions, I will be getting my eyebrows done because I'm sick of tired of having these man man brows because um I gotta go. Um starting next month I will be starting saving and actually I'm pretty much gonna be starting that this month um because I get paid on the fourteenth and all the money um because I'll be buying my hair extensions because starting August, I have to save. I won't be able to spend anything on myself. So me buying these extensions now is kind of like my last treat for myself before I can really not say, not spend anything on myself other than bills and food for the next year. Because next August is when I will be having my FFS surgery done. So I'm really looking forward to that. I will be saving, and if I if if now I'm I'm planning on saving at least a thousand dollars a month. So by the time I do go into my sur when I do go end up going to my surgery, I'll have at least ten grand saved, hopefully more. Because if I save for a year, I'll have about twelve grand, maybe even thirteen. If I mean after taxes come in, so I'll have about twelve to thirteen grand. I'll probably just say twelve grand, just in case throughout the year I need to spend a little more or something like that for like necessities and stuff like that. But I should have about twelve grand. Um, I will be looking into um, health insurance companies uh, and seeing if they, because I know there are, because I I've, I know I've watched other YouTube videos <laughs> where they have. Um, They've, uh, they've said that um, you can actually find insurance companies that can cover the cost of transgender surgeries. You know, the FFS surgery, breast augmentation, the sex reassignment surgery. Um, um, as of right now, of course, I've already said this, said this but I will be having four surgeries. I, am, I will be getting my FFS surgery done by Dr. Spiegel, who is in um, Boston, Massachusetts. Um, so I'll be getting that done next August. So that give giving me a good year to save up as much as I can. Um, I did set up a a, a a GoFundMe account, which um, is just to help. Um, I'm by no way expecting anyone to help me. If you can, that is completely on you. Um, I'm still going to be saving. The go I, I really set up the GoFundMe account just in case anyone who wants to help can, because this because the surgery for my for my facial feminization surgery is going to be about thirty grand, and so even with insurance plus me saving, it may not be enough to fully cover it. Um, but like I said, if anyone wants to help out, they are more than welcome to, but I certainly do not expect it. And again, I'm not solely depending on that GoFundMe to pay for it. I am going to be spending the next year saving as much as I can. So by the time I do have the surgery, I am planning on having at least 12 grand saved to go toward that surgery. Now, Dr. Spiegel also does the voice surgery, and if he can, I'm also going to try to get that surgery done at the same time as my FFS surgery, so that way I can get both of them done while I'm down there, and I won't have to make a separate trip to Boston to get my voice surgery done. Um, I have not yet started hormones yet, 
Unfortunately, I really wanted to start them by August, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, mostly because it's money. Um, I'm going to need at least a couple hundred dollars um, because I'll be going to Oklahoma City, which is a few hours from here, um, so I can go to my therapist session, which is going to be two hours long, and then she's going to direct me to the doctors that I can actually go to in Oklahoma City, where or or I think it's a clinic in Oklahoma City that I can go to and get and get my hormones, and that way I can actually start on hormones. And I found out that the town I live in, they do have like spa 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 clinics here. They do offer electrolysis, and I'm definitely going to be getting get I'm definitely going to be starting on that so I can get rid of the uh, my um, facial hair and chest hair. I'm probably going to end up eventually getting a full body electrolysis, so that way I just that way I won't have to worry about any body hair ever again. I won't even I won't even have I won't even have to bother shaving ever again. Just I mean most women do, but I mean shaving can be a hassle, really. I and I I really hate shaving mostly because when I do shave I have to shave everywhere. I have to shave my face, my neck, my chest, my armpits, uh, my legs. It's just a pain. And because of my Lucky Gen X, I also have back hair that I have to shave too. So, yeah, that's not fun either. <laughs> um, so, um, my main priority when it comes to electrolysis I w is my face. Because before I get FFS surgery done, I want... I will be getting electrolysis done on my face and my neck because I don't want to have to go into surgery having hair on my face because I'm one, I'm one of those people that even with shaving with a brand new razor, a very sharp razor, I can still never get all the hair. There's always like there's like a pe there's always like part hair here and I know there's like it's some right right here that's always super super stubborn that I can just never get all of it. Either like a slight little bit is always still there, no matter how many times I go over it with the sh with the razor, it still just doesn't come off. So that's really annoying. So hopefully when I do get electrolysis, that'll get you know really get that done with. Um, there is a product that I do want to order so I can test it out, and it is called No Hair. It's either No Hair or Hair Gone. I think it's No Hair though, which um, it works a lot like. Um, laser hair removal because you put it on and it looks it works just like Nair does it gets rid of the hair and then you use it once a week for eight weeks and it does exactly what laser hair removal it it slows down the growth of the hair over it slow it slows it down so less and less hair actually grows and comes back so that is also something that I would definitely want to um, I've also realized that since shaving my legs, the legs, the hair on my legs actually grow back really slowly. I noticed that I don't really have to shave my legs because uh, back when I was unemployed, I I shaved every day and I showered every day, which of course for your for my hair is not good. It's so it is incredibly unhealthy because it can be because um, the natural oils in your hair. Are really important for your hair that's also the reason why I only take a shower once a week because because the longer you keep those natural oils in your hair the better and the healthier your hair actually is and especially since I am planning on growing my hair out to all the way down to my waist it's going to take time and um, it's kind of hard to do when I'm you know not being as good to my hair as I'm supposed to um, I'm excited to get my eyebrows done. I don't really have much time to do makeup anymore just because I, um, I have my job back at the casino. It's a different department, but I, I can't, I just, I just don't have the time to, time to put makeup on, unfortunately. Um, now I do know that a lot of people that do go full platinum, they usually do it because either they want to, they want to go full platinum and they just they want blonde really really light light blonde hair like I do or there are people that they go platinum so they can dye their hair crazy colors 
I do not have a job that will allow me to do that, so my main priority is just is I want blonde hair, and of course I'll be getting um, my hair extensions put in, uh, let's see, I'll be getting my hair extensions put in on the 6th. Probably, it's probably going to be the 24th. I get paid the 14th, but I just don't think I can get it done. I don't. I just don't think they'll get to me before the 17th. If they do get to me by the 17th, then I will go ahead and get and get my hair extensions put in on the 17th. Um, but if not, then I'll end up having to wait, which is no problem. Um, but if not, then I'll end up waiting a week. Um, unfortunately today was like my only day off because tomorrow with, the, with technically tomorrow being the 4th, which is technically today, um, I'll be working for the next six days, so things are going to be quite crazy for me. Um, so yeah. Also, I have been doing a lot of different things. Um, this is, this will be about a different video. But I did move. I'm in a new apartment right now. It is a very nice upstairs, one bedroom, one bathroom. I no longer live in my two bedroom anymore. And I am quite enjoying my time. Just, uh, also the one thing that has been changing quite a bit is the fact that I don't, I, I don't drink soda. Of course, I almost never drink soda at all before. So, um... If I do drink anything, I drink either water or Gatorade or milk. And speaking of, I have this little little cute mug. It's quite big. It's I'll Love You Forever. And then it has um, cute little owls on it. And of course, um, as you can see on the inside, I, I have milk. So yummy. Um, I do not drink 1% uh, or 2%. I always get skim milk. The only time I will get 1% is if they're just out of skim milk. Because when I first moved in here, I bought 2 gallons of 1% milk because Walmart was out of skim milk and I didn't really want to have to go, go, to a, go anywhere else just to get skim milk. I'm like, it's fine, I'll just get the 1%. Um, now we have a place down here called Green Spray, and that's and I bought a ton of groceries because I had like no food whatsoever in my in my apartment. And so I I bought groceries and the total was only about a hundred and ten hundred it was about a hundred and ten, hundred and twenty dollars, and I was surprised at how much food I was really able to buy with that. I mean, I have food easily for the next two weeks, so it really, I like it because it means I can lower my budget on food, because before I was really, I was giving myself a $200 budget for food every month, and now I like it because now I can pretty much lower that to like a hundred. Um, I was receiving food stamps, but now that I got my job back at the casino and I'm not making as much, um, I mean, I'm not... I'm not getting, I'm making more than I was, I, I no longer qualify for food stamps because for one person I can't make more than 1200 and in a month I'm probably making about 1800 every month, so I like way over qualify and it's fine. I mean yes, it, I mean it would be nice not to have to pay for, pay, use my own money for food, but what are you going to do? Um, this is a long video, but as you guys realize, that's pretty normal for my channel. I'm not really one to make short videos. Um, um, yeah, um, yeah. In about two weeks, um, you guys, you'll see another video from me um, where I will be reviewing. Um, not really reviewing, more like um, doing an unboxing 
of my loop brush from Zala and my Zala hair extensions, my Zala tape and extensions. Um, so I'm like, I'm really excited because um, I'll be getting 26 inches, which um, is very, very long. Um, it'll be all the way down to my waist. Now, um, this is my natural hair. I really can't hold, but the whole time. Yeah, my, I mean, it's not, it's not very, it's not as long. Um, my hair is definitely a lot healthier. I really, it's, I really can't keep my hands out of my hair right now. Um, even though on camera it doesn't look like my hair is evenly split down the middle, but when I look in the mirror, it looks evenly split, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, once I get on hormones, my, a lot of things in my body will be changing. The pattern at which my hair grows will be changing. It'll make my skin a lot softer, and of course, over time, um, hair will grow less, which won't really matter because I'm getting electrolysis anyway, so I'm getting rid of it. Um, so, um, um, fat, di fat distribution, um, I will start to grow uh, breast tissue. So, um, I've already decided that um, when I do get my breast done, I'm going with either 300 to 400 cc's, or at least I think that's the size. I basically want to go with a D cup bra size um, because I have seen D cups and I do like the size and that is the size that I want. Um, now there is C cups and I just don't really, and I just don't, I, I mean I, I like the size of the D cup so that's, um, that, that's the size that I, I, I personally want. A lot of other trans women, I mean it just, it, it, it differs between each trans woman. I mean, it really just depends on how big you want them. Now, because of my weight, I already have some breast tissue because I have fat. Um, now, if I end up getting my, my boobs done before I lose all the weight, it would actually be easier because I already have this breast tissue already here. So it would be easier and it would, and it would be at, not as painful. Because with the with the breast with the breast tissue it's really how they stretch and because I already have some breast tissue because of my weight it will end up helping and also because of because I already have some it also means that when I do start on hormones and my breast tissue actually grows it'll actually make it where I'll actually because of my weight I'll actually be able to fit into a a, a small A cup hopefully. Um, because from what I've heard, it's kind of it, it's gonna take a while to get used to wearing bras. What I'll end up doing is I'm probably gonna end up um, wearing wearing bras even before I get breast augmentations, just so that way I'm used to wearing bras every day. So it won't be um, it it won't be anything. The only thing that's gonna be a huge difficult thing for me, but I'll I'm still I'll do it, which is fine. But after I get um my breast augmentation is I will not be able to actually take a shower for thirty days. It is one of the uh in, in the recovery from the breast augmentation is that I could only I could only really do like a sponge bath. Um but I can't actually take a full shower. For 30 days, that um, that would be very difficult for me because I'm used to showering at least once a week. Um, if anything, I'll have my friend Jessica. I'll have her come over or something like that, um, and I'll have her um, help me wash my hair at least. Um, I, Cause I mean, I can I can handle my body not without a shower for so a certain amount of time, but I cannot handle dirty hair. A week is as long as I can actually stand. I mean, I can stand maybe a day after a week, but that's even pushing it for me. Um, because the one thing, because uh, I did used to take a shower every day, I did used to wash my hair every day, and honestly, I liked it because I liked, I liked being able to look at my hair and touch my hair, and my hair felt clean every day. Of course, I don't get that now because I only shower once a week, and um, from everything I've heard, the dry shampoos don't really work 
Um, they re I've heard they really kind of dry out your hair. And um, I'd much rather have a purple shampoo actually dry out my hair um, than have a, um, a dry shampoo do that. So... Now, we did curl my hair. Um, but... And it was looking really, really good. And I will attempt to insert a picture of what my of what my curls actually looked like when we were finished. Um, but I had to buy groceries, so uh, with the trips going up and down my long flight of stairs to my apartment, my curls were gone. Like honestly, you look at my hair now, and it doesn't even look like she curled them at all. It's just so straight. Um. So yeah, um, I'm like, I'm loving this hair because I've been want this, this right here is the color that I wanted back in 2012 or so five years ago. Because when I first, when I first, when I first was dyeing my hair blonde the very first time, this color or really the, or, or really the color that it will get to after I, I, once once I start using the purple shampoo and it lightens it up, it lightens it even more, um, because my goal was like a white blonde, like white white blonde. That is that is the color, like a super super white platinum blonde. That that was the color I was going for, which is so hard to get to, because considering that my natural color was dark brown. Well, really, it was really deep burgundy because at the time. I had just dyed my hair burgundy, the deep burgundy, and so, um, of course, back then, I didn't know anything about hair. I didn't know anything about bleach or toners. I didn't know you could tone your hair. I didn't know anything about purple shampoo, because if I did know, I feel like my hair would have been, my hair would have survived it, because I feel like if I would have known all that, I didn't know anything about toners or purple shampoo. If I did, I feel like I wouldn't have lost all of my hair and had to regrow it out like I like I've been doing for the last three years, um, but you know, you make mistakes, you learn from them. Part of life. So for me, um, it's easier that way for me, especially when it comes to cooking. That's how I'm with cooking almost all the time. It is much easier for me to tr do the trial by error, kind of learn from your mistakes. All right, well, um, this is going to like almost 30 minutes. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. I will be having my uh, review, my, not review, I keep saying review. Um, I will be doing a review over my um, Zala hair extensions. However, I will not be doing a review until after I've had them in my hair for at least a month. Because I I don't want to, I don't want to do a review right when I put them in because I feel like I haven't worn them, I haven't washed them, I haven't done, I haven't actually lived with them in. I don't want to actually have them in my hair long enough so I can actually give a good review and not just a, I wouldn't really call that a review. Um, so yeah. Um, Alright, so I will be, um, yeah, um, I will be doing my unboxing sometime after the 14th, it might be the 17th, it may be later, it'll just depend on, uh, yeah, it actually should be around the 17th, so, because ho hopefully I'll get my extensions by then, and then I'll be doing probably a review around that time, and then, I might do like a short, like, three minute video, three, four, five minute video, just showing you guys what my hair looks like with the extensions in. And then, you know, about a month after that, I'll, I'll actually do a, do a review over it and we'll see how it goes. Um, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, please comment, like, subscribe, and I will definitely try, try, try to put a picture of what my hair looks like when, when, um, I had my hairstylist uh, curl it for me.
I did have her do what I call the Catherine curls. I showed her a picture of Catherine um, from the Vampire Diaries. Let me see if I can pull up the picture. All right, this. Let's see. Yeah, that is the picture I showed her, and that's what she used as as her base. And um, she she did the backwards curls because most most people when they curl their hair, they curl it towards their face. She curled it away from my face, and it looked really good. I really liked it. I just I enjoyed it. It looked so good. Um. Alright, I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.